so hello everyone welcome to knowledge apex i am magesh so today we will see a job notification by ntpc sale power company limited for the recruitment of diploma engineer trainee for mechanical electrical and electronics engineering branches here for electronic branch diploma in electronics and telecommunication electronics and power electronics and instrumentation control and instrumentation engineering branches are also eligible so this video is just the overview of this notification for detailed advertisement regarding online registration and to apply for this post faqs please check the links in the description so let's begin so first we will see the post detail the three posts that is a diploma engineer trainee mechanical electrical and electronics the number of post is 15 3 and 4 respectively and the age criteria is minimum you should have the age uh, the minimum you should have 18 years and maximum age limit is 25 years that is upper age limit as on the uh, cut off date that is 29th of april 2017 and as usual rack is apply applicable to the reserve category students uh, in the upper age limit c for scs it is 5 for obc it is 3 and pwd it is 10 as per the government of india rules and uh, also upper age limit relaxation uh, is applicable for 5 years for the candidate who had ordinarily been domiciled in the state of jnk from uh, from 11 1980 to 31st of december 1989 so also exercisement relaxation is also applicable so we will see the scale of pay during the one uh, training period you will be paid rupees 15500 as a stipend and after the training period you will be appointed on regular basis in during that period you will be paid in this pay scale of 15500 to 34500 plus da pf gratuity etc as applicable and uh, next we'll see the education qualification you should have a full time full time regular diploma in engineering in your respective stream that is mechanical electrical electronics from any government recognized university institute in india with 70 percentage of marks at least so this is a criteria and also relaxation in education qualification is applicable for scst pwd candidate that is a pass mark and next we'll see the application mode application mode is an online process and the selection process comprises of this three points the objective type written test next followed by interview skill test and finally the medical test so Uh, regarding the written test uh, we will see uh, written test will be of objective type mcq pattern and the uh, test duration will be of 2 hours 120 minutes and test will consist of this two sections parts uh, the part one will consist of your technical section which comprise of 70 questions of mcq type and part two will comprise of uh, general awareness quantitative aptitude english and reasoning so which will be of 50 questions in this part next there are some important points to note uh, see the written test can be taken in both uh, either in hindi or english and finally english version will be considered as uh, the final in case of any objections or errors and uh, there is a 1 by 4 negative marking so this is an important point to note so 1 by 4 negative marking for every wrong answers that is 0.25 marks will be detected for every wrong answers and uh, there is separate qualifying marks for each the part that is part 1 and part 2 so next we'll see the interview the interview will be uh, held for the shortlisted candidate on the basis of the written test uh, and they will be called for the skill test uh, that is interview test and finally those who qualifies in both the written test and interview will be placed on the combined merit list and uh, those candidates have to undergo a uh, medical test before their appointment conducted by the organization and see the training period is of 1 year that is 12 months and after the successful completion of the training so candidate will be appointed in the regular basis with idea pay scale which we have discussed and the uh, written exam date is 
11th June 2017, uh, Sunday, and these are the test center for the written test that is Raipur, Kolkata, and Bhuneshwar. So, only the three centers are there for written examination, and uh, the application fee is for general OBC, they have to pay rupees 300 rupees, and for SCST, PWD ex serviceman candidate. They are uh, not required to pay any fee for this uh, exam and the application fee is to be paid only via online mode using your net banking facility or your credit card, debit card. Next we will see some general informations. So candidate with higher qualifications need not apply. It means uh, only diploma holders are asked to apply for this post because uh, if you are possessing bachelor's degree or mtech something higher qualification so those candidates need not apply for this post and uh, second point the candidate will be posted in Rotkala, Orissa and Durgapur, West Bengal, Aspadi vacancies to be filled and only Indian nationals are eligible for this and the next admit card for the return test will be available from these dates to this date from that is 18th of May to 2017 to 10th June 2017 and uh, as usual the government department if you are working in PSU you have to produce the NOC at the time of your skill test interview so last date for the online registration is 29th of April up to 11.50 pm and also for the online payment so keep this date in the mind so that's it for this video if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video please post it at the comments i will reply to you soon so thank you for watching if you like this video please like and share and also don't forget to subscribe our channel as i bring three to four videos every week regarding the technical job openings for the engineering graduates so until then see you all thanking you everyone have a good day